everybody, it's Reagan here, and um, today I have yeah another makeup tutorial. I'm going to try and get this out at like one a week maybe, but today is a Dean Winchester inspired makeup look, inspired by outfits, obviously not by what he would wear because <laughs> Dean doesn't wear makeup. Um, I had a lot of fun creating this look. It's kind of extreme, so I mean, I'm about to wear it out though, so... But anyways, um, let me know what other kind of makeup tutorials you guys want to see. Go ahead and follow me down on um, Twitter if you want to see sneak peeks of future makeup looks. It's at Hillside Moose. Um, everything else, Snapchat, Instagram is going to be in the description. You can go ahead and follow me on there. Love interacting with you guys, so like, message me, tweet me. I will tweet back. I'll like your tweets. Retweet them because I just love you guys so much. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hello everybody, um, once again we are going to go ahead and get started right away, so um, this is pretty much the same as last video, um, priming my eyes with Lorac Pro, and um, this is actually one of my favorite looks that I've done so far, of course there's many more to come. Um, then I've got my Too Faced Prime at Poreless, um, this has always been one of my favorite face primers, probably always will be. Next up I've got my Morphe brushes, which I always use, love them, love, and then the Aesthetic um, eyebrow contour kit for my eyebrows, which you can use your own stuff because obviously this is going to be a little different for everyone. Hair color is different and stuff. And mine's obviously not even a natural color, so that's what makes it crazier. My Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This is a beautiful palette. It's new. Um, I love all the colors. Honestly, probably one of my favorite palettes for Morphe, but then again, can I even say that? Because I love all of them. So I'm taking this color. Once again, these don't have names, so I can't really say, but it's like a almost like a reddish kind of brownish color. And I'm applying this to the crease, and then I'm taking the slightly darker variation of this color, which is a little bit more brown gold, and applying that to the crease also. Next up I'm taking this green color and I'm gonna go ahead and play this one all over the lid and this is gonna, like you want this one to be vibrant but not too vibrant. You don't want to look like you're from the 80s but you want to look like you want the green to be noticeable because it's one of the key components of this look. together and create more of a um, darker eye look since that's what it is. I'm applying black to the corner of my eyes. Not on the outside though, the inner corner, which is really unusual to do for makeup, but for this look it totally works. And then I'm blending it with my fluffy brush. for this episode because um, it was annoying me when it wasn't braided last time plus I sleep on it braided so it can be wavy. Um, I also just fixed the green keeping it vibrant. Next I'm taking my black eyeliner. I believe this was in Revlon one. It's not that great of an eyeliner but um, in this look I didn't want a super bold eyeliner look. I never do do a super bold eyeliner look. If that's your type then go ahead and do it. The eyeliner is all based on preference. It's mostly just the eyeshadow for this look. Oh, I'm also putting this on the bottom lower lash line, not on my waterline, but on just on the lower lash line. Next up I have my um, Anastasia Cream Contour Palette and I'm taking the lightest color Fair and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my waterline. Um, it just makes your eyes look bigger. For such a dark look it's kind of important to make sure that your eyes don't look super small because the point of makeup is to enhance your features not make them look worse. And then I have my Morphe Palette and I actually figured out how to identify this. I looked on the back and it had 25A. I don't know if that like can be useful or anything but... 
And I'm taking the gold color that I used on my Rowena look and I'm going to apply that to the inner corners of my eye and also underneath. It's time for falsies again. Um, this time I actually let you guys see me applying them just because like sometimes I'm sure you're curious about how certain people do it. Everyone does it different. Sometimes they can be hard to apply, especially if you're like a first time applier. Of course, this is not a necessary step. You can just put mascara on your eyelashes. I just like to look make mine look a little bit more dramatic than they are. Because I mean my eyelashes are long, but these make them super long. And then while the glue is drying on there, because you gotta let it get tacky, I am going to go ahead and apply, um, or prep my lashes with the Better Than False Lashes from Too Faced. Um, I use it on top and bottom. There's two steps to it. The second step has some like fuzzies on it. I apply that to the bottom, but not to the top, because I'm gonna have false lashes on the top anyways. Honestly, like right now I'm trying to figure out what to do for Sam, and since he wears a lot of plaid, it's kind of hard, because obviously I can't do like a red and blue makeup look. I mean, I could, but like the colors just don't really go together the same for makeup as they would on a shirt. So I'm trying to figure out something to do for Sam, and then I need to come up with several other ones. I do have one look for the Impala that I want to do that's kind of super dramatic, but like, gotta love it, right? Also, just ordered a ton of stuff from Hot Topic, so you'll see that soon. Back at it with my Morphe and Kathleen Lines palette. I'm going to go ahead and um, both make the green look more dramatic, and then I'm going to go also go ahead and use an angled blush, brush, take the black, and then go ahead and go over where the glue is because you don't want the glue to be super noticeable on your if you're going to wear fake eyelashes. The whole point for me is that they look natural. Maybe you want some like super dramatic, unnatural looking eyelashes, but I always like to make mine look natural. Next up, I'm taking Born This Way in the shade Vanilla. This is a um, foundation. I have some really weird like combination skin where I break out really easy, but my skin will also be like dry in one spot. Like I have a, a huge dry patch and then like be super broken out like my T zone area. But um, this foundation honestly works so good. And then there's Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Um, this foundation has never given me problems. It doesn't get super greasy throughout the day. It doesn't seem cakey or built up. It's just like a super nice foundation. Granted, it can be a little expensive, but after my whole life living, trying to find one, like, this is perfect. Um, I'm applying the bronzer to my cheekbones and then my forehead and nose. And then I have my camouflage palette from Coastal Scents. I'm taking the palish color, like I said last time, and I'm going to do under my eyes, like, basically between your eye and the bronzer. That's where you want this to go. This is kind of like a concealer. I mean, obviously this step is optional as well, but any concealer will work here. You don't have to use the one that I'm using. I used to use beauty blenders a lot, but I found that they made me break out, so I stopped. Now I've got my Morphe highlight palette and I'm going to go ahead and highlight right above the bronzer and then on my eyebrow bones, my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my upper lip. Yeah, I used to have like a really bad problem with breaking out when I used a beauty blender and I found the best thing to use is actually just your fingers. Sometimes you don't want to get your fingers dirty but just like make sure that you wash your hands before you do it and you're good. Okay, so this, I honestly have no idea where, like what brand this is. I do know like that I got it from... A saleswoman who came into one of my old jobs one time. Um, this is a lip plumper. It's kind of just like, I don't know what it does, but it makes your lips feel really tingly and it's awesome and it works really well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lips. Since my eyes are so dramatic, I don't really want to draw attention to my lips. Just because my eyes represent Dean's outfit, my, my lips represent his, just like, he's not super dramatic. And then with this look, since it is 
the one that I'm going to be wearing all day. I'm going to go ahead and set it with a Neutrogena Shine Control Setting Powder. Things are always better when you set it. Just saying. So this is the completed look. Um, I do like, love this look a lot. I kind of make this stuff up on the spot. Um, obviously, I did not have this planned ahead. I've never done this before, so like... I don't know. I always just make them up. I hope they look good, but... This one, I just love. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and comment. I love your comments. I love hearing from you guys. Tweet me, comment, snap me in the description. 